why don't you introduce yourself, tell us um, your name, which I just said, uh, your year, and your major. Okay, hello everyone, my name's Nikhil Dasri, and I'm a freshman turning to the sophomore at UTD, and I'm uh, Information Technology Systems, or better known as ITS, at UTD. Okay, uh, so, so far, what's your most memorable experience you've had at UTD? So most memorable is maybe, uh, maybe my after my first test in accounting. So the teacher comes in and proudly uh, tells the class that the class average was a whole 35. That's never happened in high school. So I'd consider that my most memorable time. Hey, I did good though. Uh, but most memorable time in my first year of UTD. That is quite memorable. Um, so, apart from the average being a 35, uh, would you say um, what was like one of the biggest lessons you learned in your career? Uh, one of the biggest lessons I've learned so far is to just kind of throw myself out there, uh, be uncomfortable, be in okay. uncomfortable situations. Uh, I've thrown myself out at Starbucks in the mall, working the weekends, mm -hmm. long hours, mm -hmm. lines going out the store was brutal, uh, but I've learned a lot, like critical thinking, um, just hard work in general, and like experiences like those really make me who I am today, yeah. just sitting in the seat, so yeah. Wow, um, from that, who would you say is your biggest political, <laughs> political, I'm sorry, professional inspiration? Uh, my, biggest, <laughs> my biggest professional uh, inspiration, <laughs> I'd say, is my sister. Okay. So my sister was, uh, just as you said, uh, like the first kind of generation, she takes care of me, she takes care of all my cousins, she's okay. the first one to graduate here in the United States, uh, and I don't know, uh, anything she does is a big inspiration to me, like she's graduated, she has a pretty good job at Pepsi mm -hmm. now, anything she does um, all fits um, has influenced me in one way or the other, whether I like it or not. Yeah. So yeah. Well, kudos to your sister. Congrats on Pepsi. Wow. Um, so, where do you see yourself in five years? So, some of my aspirations is mm -hmm. to be a strategy consultant uh, somewhere in BCG, McKinsey, one of those okay. big uh, consulting firms, and hopefully move to like more, like I don't mind Dallas, but like a more, you know, pop in town, like mm -hmm. maybe Chicago, New York, oh, okay. uh, one of those. Uh, that's that's where I want to be in five mm -hmm. years. Who knows what will five years, five years is a long time down the road. Did you grow up in Dallas? Uh, no, actually not. So I've actually traveled ac all across the world. Oh. So just a little bit about that. I was born in India, but three weeks later we moved to Europe for four years and then we came back to India for a couple of years and then we went to Australia, from Australia to LA, LA to here, and we've settled here. Wow, how long have you been here? Uh, I've finished my eighth grade at high school here and my first year of college. Okay, gotcha. So about six years. Wow, oh yeah, me too. <laughs> so, wow, that's I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, um, so what traits do you most like to see in your colleagues and your managers? Uh, good leadership skills so okay. at the end of the day leadership might be like bossing sometimes but that is needed to have a good work environment mm -hmm. to be on top of your things because sometimes all of us slack off at one point and having that leader right there will help you keep you in uh, keep you in touch and all stuff. Yeah, I agree with that. That's a good answer. Um, so what drew you to this specific internship? So a sales is uh, so I came in here to especially develop my sales mm -hmm. uh, skills. So in consulting, you require talking with many, uh, many of your, uh, what do you call, your customers in general. And it's most of the time random customers. You don't really know who they are on the other side, and you got to gather information based on their, based on the small calls you have, and in general, come up with. Um, an enticing offer from your end. Uh, that applies for both sales and also consulting. Consulting, that could be one part, but it can go a lot more in depth. But at least some aspects of consulting follow in line with sales. So that's how I wanted to develop my skills in this internship. I think that's very important. That's a good start. Um, 
So you kind of mentioned some of the things you're looking to take out of this in internship, like developing your sales mm -hmm. um, and everything like that. But um, what are some of the other things that you're looking to take from this internship? Uh, so being in a like almost a corporate setting. So this is my first mm -hmm. time in a internship. This is my first internship in general. Okay. So I want to take all the skills, like just even coming to work to coming out of work, just that experience in general. Yeah. Uh, like small aspects like those on top of the sales skills I want to learn. All those are things I want to take away from this internship. Okay, I think that's a good thing to look forward to. Um, so what are some, less professional question, what are some of your driving factors when it comes to work? Driving factors? Mm -hmm. I think just a fun, respectable work environment. I think that's like very needed to be successful, mm -hmm. to drive that motivation in general. If you have like equally balanced fun and hardworking colleagues, you're gonna you're bound to do the same and be successful in it. So I think that's mainly what my driving force would be. Okay. Um, now to switch the pace a little bit, uh, can you tell the audience some of your hobbies that you do? So some of my hobbies I like to do is play volleyball, play basketball, I'm a foodie, I like to go to many <laughs> different places to eat, um, but yeah I think those are like my main ones, maybe play a bit of video games, and yeah. Um, so with that, with being a foodie, mm -hmm. uh, what's the best meal you've ever had? It's got to be... Dave's hot chicken. Mm, okay. Dave's hot chicken on a rainy night. Nothing better than that. Nothing beats. What's your that. spice level? I can go any, but like normally I like to get extra hot. hot. Okay. That's about it. Me too. I like that. Um, do you uh, do you have any fuel that you especially like? Like, let's say it's like 10 p.m. You got Dave's hot chicken. Where? What type of drinks do you like to go for? Drinks. Good question. I like Coke Zero. Coke Zero? Oh, Pepsi okay. Zero. Water. Coke water. or Pepsi? Water's Which better? Good. Which is better, Coke or Pepsi? I honestly say Pepsi. Pepsi has <gasps> a better taste. Wow, that's a controversial answer. <laughs> hey, I gotta be loyal with my sister's company. <laughs> oh, true, true. Uh, but, nah, but water's the best. Okay, I agree. I love water. Mm. Um, what's your favorite TV show? Favorite TV show? Uh... I got to stick with the basic answer, Naruto. My oh, okay, anime. okay. Uh, I watched it since I was a kid. Watched it three times over. Oh, 700 wow. plus episodes. It Which was is, just an enjoyable show. Is Shippuden better than the original? Uh, you can't really compare them. It's like apples and bananas. Can you mm, okay. compare them? Yeah. No. <laughs> um, if you could have any superpower, what would you pick? I gotta go with the basic answer, teleportation. Oh, copying me, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, for no reason. It seems cool. Seems cool. cool. Yeah. You wouldn't go with um, Naruto's Rasen Rasengan? Uh, is that really a superpower? I, I mean, in our society, it is. Uh, nah, that, nah, those have limited benefits. In okay, my true. Opinion. So, um, so, you mentioned that you work on the weekends. Um, is do your weekends look like just working or do you I'm sorry do your weekends look like just working or do you do anything fun on your weeks off I, as I was saying like my hobbies I play volleyball with like a lot of people and just food okay food. Of food Dave's hot chicken yeah. coming in clutch yeah um, so now controversial question mm -hmm. if you turn into a blob one day <laughs> what would you do blob huh? <laughs> No. What if I just jump into the ocean? What will happen? I don't know. You might absorb the ocean. Yeah. See. Yeah. See. What about what about an electrical? I mean, sorry, not an electrical, an industrial vehicle. What would you uh, do? What would you I be? Think a tractor. A contractor? Yeah, a tractor. Oh, a tractor. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what's that? Uh, I don't know. Why a tractor? It's very basic, like me. I'm pretty basic. Okay. Yeah, you so. like your basics? Yeah. Does that describe your fashion sense, your style? Yeah, I'd say just like soft. Okay. Soft in general, so yeah. Wow, okay. Um, last question for today. Um, if you were an animal, what animal would you be? An animal? Hmm. 
and the animals. Good girl. I don't know. Maybe a tortoise. An, oh, wow. Okay. I'm just very calm, tired, bored. Mm. Bored? Would you hide in your shell, in your shell a lot? Or yeah, would you, yeah, definitely. Would you come out and walk around? Uh, no. no, in my shell. Sure. Just chill. So, yeah. <laughs> would you go into the... No, turtles go to the ocean. Tortoises are on land, right? Uh, I don't honestly don't know the difference between them. Okay, in that case, yeah. would you go into the ocean? Yeah, definitely. Be like the guy from Finding Nemo? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, well, thank you for this interview. Thank, thank you, guys.